Well, I know you're out of gonna miss me when I'm gone. They call themselves the New 76ers, although Danny Goddard, who plays lead acoustic guitar and contributes on vocals, can't really pin down the genesis of that name. There's internal uh, contention about where the name came from. We don't really know. Sweet moving on cold, through the night, soon Although rhythm guitarist and lead vocalist Kelly Goddard, who's also married to Danny, says there's less dispute as to the band's origins. She, Danny, and upright bass player singer Brian Durham first played together in a five-piece bluegrass band called Blue Moon. We used to play down at Posey's. That was kind of really our only gig, our well, only gig. But we played down the there end. a couple times. Towards the end, it was our only. Yeah, we did lots of benefits also. <laughs> <laughs> but when Blue Moon got washed up with <laughs> Hurricane Dennis and Posey's with it, <laughs> we we kind of took a break. That ain't good enough for this old man. That break didn't last long. Now, an all-acoustic trio, Danny Goddard says the new 76ers began honing a unique sonic signature. The sound was going to be based on vocals, because you've heard Brian and Kelly sing together. It just is so perfect, and I, I mean, I bring my certain touch too, but I think at the beginning it wasn't like that as much, and I knew, and we all knew it was going to be based around vocals, and we just, I think, found that the instrumentation we have now best supported the vocals in songs. Watching the world go back. But that doesn't mean the instrumental accompaniment is an afterthought. With no drummer in the band, bassist Brian Durham also has to lay down a strong rhythm to support the Goddard's acoustic guitars. Kelly keeping mostly to chords, Danny weaving some melodic fills into the mix. I heard somebody describe the way he plays once and I loved it and it's like painting a picture where he finds just the right shadow or the right brightness to, to fill in. Kelly and Danny also share the songwriting chores. Seven out of the nine tracks on their inaugural CD, Super Highway, are their own compositions. Through their eyes, but they see clearly And that time will they even hear me on a standby Americana, I guess, I mean, it, I think is kind of the category, the genre that is, you know, accepted now. It's kind of like a, a mud of <laughs> different styles, you know, for lack of a better expression, but I mean, it kind of is. It's like you are influenced by all these different sounds and types of music that you've grown up with, and that's kind of, I think, where we're coming from. Brian Durham is glad well-known Tallahassee engineer and producer Chris Culp was along for the band's first real record and included them in the mix-down process. He really opened it up and, and allowed us all to kind of just float with it and create what, what we created. It was, it was an amazing experience. I'd say it was the, probably one of the best recording experiences that I've had, and I've had a bunch. Now the fruit of that labor is out this week. The band is making it available through their website and Facebook page. There will be two CD release parties. The first will be in the Tallahassee Museum's Old Concord Schoolhouse this Saturday. The second will be at the Mockingbird Cafe on North Monroe Street, March 12th. Superhighway. For WFSU-FM, I'm Tom Flanagan.